Here's a way you can make a quick buck with eBay and broken phones. This is great for either raising capital or you can run this for a business. I used to run this for a business when I was younger. I used to uh, just buy and sell these phones all day and it was actually not so not a bad income. And I'm in a small town. So I know if you're in a larger town, this can be even better for you. Just make sure you're safe when you do this and when you're meeting people in public. But essentially what you want to focus on or and what I focused on was broken iPhones. Now this might work for broken uh, iPads, things like that as well. But I'm mostly focused on Apple products. I found that most of the Samsung products, their resale value in their broken state wasn't as good back then, but that might be different now. So check that out for yourself. But essentially, all you're doing is you're going to your local Facebook groups and your marketplaces and letting people know that you're buying broken iPhones and you're going for the newest model possible. Newest models rather. Um, some of the older ones are fine too. Just aim for the newer ones. And usually, I don't care if the phone's been ran over, doesn't turn on, if it was dropped in a lake, it was, and I, they handed it to me, it was still dripping water out of it. Uh, none of that mattered. I've had them in such terrible conditions and it just doesn't matter. Usually, I'll offer them anywhere between $20 to $50, depending on just how bad it looked. I remember buying a, the brand newest model one time from a lady that had, I mean, it was just in such terrible condition. I think I gave her 10 bucks for it and I sold it on eBay. You're actually gonna get around, or at least what I used to get, and, for, and I looked again online recently to kind of see what the numbers were. Looks like you can still do anywhere between, say, 50 to over $100 profit per phone that you're buying. These numbers will vary depending on just how the market changes with iPhones and, and eBay, but that's usually about what you can get. And so you go and meet these people, buy these phones, relist them on eBay, and just make sure that when you list them that you let people know that they're broken. You mark them as four parts only. You don't mark it as like used or anything like that. Make sure that they know that it's a broken phone for parts. Do that even if somebody sells you a phone that turns on and it's locked or whatever, still sell it as broken because you don't want to offer any guarantees on eBay about the phone. And you're not trying to sell a phone that's like cracked as far as any carrier or you know any or it's been hacked or so people can do certain things with the phones, anything like that. That's not what we're doing. So sell the phone as broken as is. Use the post office, the USPS boxes, their flat rate. The small ones, I think they used to be like $5.95 to ship or $6.25, something like that. So you know what your shipping costs will always be. Stuff it with like newspapers or whatever you got laying around your house or you can get cheap to pad it even when it's broken yes just pad it up just so you won't glass you know people's hands or anything. And then to figure out what you should sell it for just head over to eBay type in your phone iPhone model whatever. Uh, you can ask ChatGPT for a list of model numbers so you can, when you are buying these phones, you can make sure that the model is correct. Usually it's on the back of the phone or I think on some of the newer iPhones, it might be like if there's a SIM card tray in there somewhere, figure out where you can see the model number, make sure you're get, you know listing the right model and then go search for that phone on eBay, type in broken and on the left bar, there's like all these little settings. I'm gonna scroll all the way down, look at completed listings, sold listings, and it will show you what all the recent listings have sold for and how much people got for them. Scroll through and figure out the average, right? Don't, don't be like, find the high and be like, oh my God, I can get this much. Go find the average, sell yours for about that. I've always been in the mindset of buy it, get it sold quicker to get my money back quicker. Even if I'm making a slightly less, I don't want to sit there and hold on to it. I want to get it flipped. I want to get it sold. I want money coming back and growing. Do that. List it as a buy now with free shipping when you're on eBay. And you can, uh, even when you got a buy now and it's not in bid, you can still accept uh, offers on it on a buy now. So sometimes you might get people offering you 20 bucks less or whatever. You can take it. You're still going to make tons of profit. And then just make sure in your description, say, hey, I ship out every Wednesday. So if you buy on a Thursday, just know that you're going to have to wait until next Wednesday to ship out. So that way you're not having to go to the post office all the time. And then if you're feeling extra friendly that day or you're going to town, ship it early. They'll be super excited and getting an early product in the mail, leave you a great review. But that's pretty much it. It's very simple, very simple process to do this and make good money. I think I was making a 15 to $1,500, $2,000 as like a little side hustle doing this per month. Yeah, it's not a ton of money, but man, when you're young and so you're working a nine to five and you can just get off work, pick up a couple phones here and there, go and sell them, flip them and make an extra two grand a month. You know, extra whatever, add whatever your yearly sal salary is and add 25K to it. It's not bad, right? Just for a little extra side work. So that's pretty much it. Such a easy way to make good money. Most people are buying these phones on eBay because they're taking them for parts and fixing up other phones. So that might be also something to look into, but I didn't want to deal with that. I didn't want to sit there and offer people services of repairing phones. Didn't really sound like nothing I wanted to deal with. You know, I got into SEO because I'm an introvert. 
just don't want to deal with people most of the time. Got the broken phones, sold the broken phones, made some decent money. Take this tip, make yourself some money. And if you do go for this, let me know. Let me know how it works out. Leave me a comment if you're actually going to go for it. I'm interested to hear that. So, yeah, thanks for watching.